people? It's me, the Vertical Spy 17, and yeah, I know you probably are wondering how for these past few. How many years was, has it been? Well, since I had this background, yeah, I hope you're wondering, like, you know, what it is or, like, why it's there. Well, basically, it's my background. And yes, if you are curious, there are a picture of anime girls in their underwear, wearing white socks, and wearing skirts, and wearing. Yeah, it's. I'll make a another video about my background to just show you it, you know, to show you why it's there and why it means a lot to me, and why it's my trademark. But now, since it's now, since today is Valentine's Day, I said, well, why not make a Valentine's Day video? And yes, I'm wearing red. So, and if you're wondering why I'm not wearing any pink. I don't do pink, period. But despite that, I want to talk about the top five anime girls that I've grown to love in my youth, my teens, and for right now. So I think my top five, if my number one is pretty obvious, I do apologize. But these are the girls, that, females that I've grown to love for a while and I'll mention and I'll describe in many details on why they're in my top five so let's kick, let's kick everything off with number five June from Gotcha Man I'm gonna let you guys know something June from Gotcha Mind, I mean, I didn't know that technically was her in her obvious name, but I remember watching G Force as a little kid. It was back when it was on Cartoon Network, and it was and it was basically one of those shows that kind of kind of stopped when it got to its you know final its, its quote unquote final episode. So we're actually watching G Force. I actually grown to like it a lot. But there was only one character I actually liked in G-Force, Gatchaman, Battle of the Planets, or whatever, whatever her name is. But, you know, everybody knows her name from Gatchaman. It's June. And I, get, and I know you're going to probably say to yourself, well, obviously you like her because, you know, she has a flashy outfit. Yeah. She has a flashy ass outfit. I like that. I like girls who have cool outfits like that. And you know what? I don't care. She looks gorgeous in that outfit. And you know what? I like women that definitely, most definitely can kick ass. I mean, yep, she, she, they keep showing her panties every time she does a flip. And you know, I gotta be honest with you, I think she, I think her in the outfit, she only looks cute in just that outfit in general. When she's out of the outfit, I yeah, I guess I might as well say I do kind of like her when she kind of takes off her mask. I mean, I mean her helmet. And, you know, despite all that, she is pretty hot. She is pretty gorgeous to look at. And, yes, you know, she's wearing the pink, the long boots, the long gloves, the white cape. You know, basically, yeah. So that's my obvious choice for my top one of my top five favorites. So let's move on to number four. I tell me from Escaflone. Yeah, you didn't expect that was gonna happen. Yeah, the reason why I pick Katomi, because I gotta let you guys know this. A friend that used to live in Boston knows that I love, and I mean love this girl. When we when I was a teenager. I think I was 13 during the time, but when I was a 13 years old watching this girl, and just to let you know, I only, I I started watching Escaflowne when I was 12 years old. So during that time, I was getting into the show, getting into the characters. But I really like the point of the fact that Tomi is one of my favorite characters in the show. Now I actually kind of like the first 12 episodes of Escaflone, you know, just those first 12. When we got to the rest of them, I just kind of, you know, lost track of them. But 
you know, reason why I picked her, cause she's fucking cute. <laughs> she's cute. I mean, I can't get, I mean, I know she's 15 years old and I'm kind of older, too old to be looking at girls like this, but despite all that, she's just my perfect anime girl that I can just think of in the top of my head of anime girls. Oh, and what's my thoughts about her in the um, animated movie that they did for Escaflone? I'm going to tell you this. I don't like the anime movie es the anime movie version of Hitome in that film. I kind of like the TV version, you know, the, the anime TV version of Hitome. I mean, every time I watch the watch her, you know, in the movie, I'm going to tell you this. Since they gave her action, since they animated actual lips on her, she kind of looks ugly. She really looks ugly. But despite all that, you know, I guess she looks, I, I will admit, she looks, despite that she looks kind of, I will admit, she does kind of look a little teensy wincy cute a bit. Okay, I may, I may be being a selfish bastard, but despite all that, Hatomi from the anime show, I like her a lot. Even though, you know, she ends up being more like the reason why Van and Alan has to keep saving her. Well, I just enjoy her character a lot because she actually does do something, you know, for the story. I don't know... I don't know about the later episodes after the twelve after twelve episodes, but let's just put it like this: she had a use in those twelve episodes, and that's basically it. So let's move on to number three: Faith Valentine from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, you can't have a top five without mentioning this lady. Faye Valentine, yeah, I know what you're basically saying, you know. Oh, Vertical, that's so cliche. You're obviously going to pick her. Well, yeah, I am. Well, look at they from Cowboy BB Bob. She is fucking gorgeous. Just every time I look at this lady, every time I just keep looking at this lady, I don't know if she's in her late 20s, early 30s, yeah, I, I can care less. But, you know, despite that, you know, she definitely is the eye candy of, you know, Cowboy Bebop. She's definitely eye candy. The only eye candy for the whole entire show. That, I mean, really, what's the only thing to look forward in Cowboy Bebop? Well, Spike, he's most likely the guy who just hates everything. Jet, he's most likely the guy that, you know, cares about the job and just cares about doing what's right. Ed is a hyperactive kid that really needs to be put down for whatever drug she's taking. And that's basically it. They is basically the character that you really want to see the most because her character as basically it's the eye candy and the only thing that's appealing to look at in the show, basically. Oh, and no comment on her and the animated movie that they made back in 2001. But despite all that, they, you know, she's not technically that bad. I mean, yes, she has a, you know, smart-ass attitude and, you know, who, who cares about that? I mean, that's, that she has at least a personality because of that smart ass attitude and most likely looking at her I just enjoy her I like her I like how they animated her body I like how they sh how her outfit is and every time I sorry my mom just you know gave me this but anyway she was the Faye Valentine's the character from Cowboy Bebop you like to see the most and yes Spike does have his moments sometimes but you know Sp Spike is mostly the cool one Faye's the hot one Jet's the guy who tries to do everything right 
and Ed's the crazy ADD character for the movie. I mean, for the show. For both. Next one! Boma Reeves from Where Else? Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Well, it doesn't get any obvious than that. Boma Reeves. Funny last name. I mean, it's kind of weird how Boma's last name is someone's pair of underwear. Yeah. And she calls Trunks and her calls her son Trunks. She calls her daughter Bra. Was Spandex not a good name at all? Really? But never mind that. But Boma, well, yes. Just watching Boma as well. Uh, Boma, yeah, she's obviously the hot chick you just want to watch and see. And despite all that, yeah. She's definitely the appealing thing in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And Dragon Ball GT. I'm a, I just I just don't care. Bulma to me is definitely the hot chick of Dragon Ball. No matter what age she is, I mean I guess she might as well be six sixty years old and she'll still look hot. I think that sounded pretty weird to me saying that a 60 year old woman is hot. Yeah. But anyways, um, Boma to, to me is definitely the chick that stood out the most in Dragon Ball. And I do like that one scene where Boma, that scene where Goku and that scene in Dragon Ball when Goku and her are when, when she's sleeping and she's basically, you know, laying down with her panties out. And, you know, Goku's like, hey, I knew there was more room for all of us. And then he just lays on her crotch. And he's like, wait a minute, I don't feel anything. Weird, it's like there's nothing there. Ah! <laughs> Despite all that, um, yeah. Boma, you know, I will admit she is a little snobby. She is basically the, you know, character who has zero powers and just always seems to be getting in trouble, getting rescued by one of the guys, one of the Z warriors. But despite all that, Boma. <laughs> so, uh, really, why'd you marry Vegeta anyway? Yeah, yeah. I do like bad girls also. But, never mind that. I know we're probably saying, what's my number one gonna be? Well, my number one, you might be very surprised. Chung Lee from the Street Fighter franchise. I'm sorry, guys. I, I mean, I'm serious. I'm really sorry that I had to pick this most obvious character that I've mentioned, and I guess I might as well mention this. On that wall, there's a lot of pictures of Chung Li, you know, with her fighting Vega, you know, her in her underwear, you know. Not that I, not, now don't get me wrong, I didn't, I didn't pick Chung Li because, oh my god, her whole entire body is so goddamn hot, or she just has the most gorgeous face. I like women that can kick freaking ass. You know what? Chung Lee, she kicks ass. You know, yeah, she's not mostly the main, like the main character. Yeah, but, you know, I would really wish there would be for once, for once, a Chung Lee movie or a Street Fighter movie where they got Chung Lee's out. Right. Blue China dress. A blue China dress. That's all I wanted to see in Legend of Chung Lee. And we sort of kinda matter of fact we didn't really get that. The John Claude Van Damme movie we did kinda got 
We did kind of got that outfit, but not the right color. But I really wish that Hollywood would just get it right for once, or at least copy. Hold on. Or at least copy the Street Fighter movie. And if you want to check my review for that, it's up right now. You know, yeah, it's one of my videos that I haven't gotten that much views on. But I really wish they would kind of get 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 the live action movies exactly like this one. And uh the fight scene with Vega. Don't even get me started with that. Don't even get me started with that. The fight scene with Vega, I enjoy a hell lot. I enjoy I enjoy everything about that movie. I enjoy everything about that scene. Everything about this scene was just sexiness from top to bottom. And yes, Vega does, you know, you know, cut Chung Lee up and you know that whole entire video. I mean sorry, that whole entire scene. But um to be honest, her getting her face slashed like that, she still looks hot. Yeah. So Despite all that, I really wish they, in the, in if they were ever to make a live action Street Fighter movie, which they probably are not since after Legend of Chung Lee, <sighs> please, for the love of God, get a hot chat. I mean, just get a hot Chinese chick to play as Chung Lee. I mean, I know you can find a hot Chinese chick out there. I mean, just watching. Come on, Christian Crook. And to be also honest, the lady that was in the John Claude Van Damme movie that played Chung Lee, she was a lot better than Christian Crook. But, never mind. Anyways, Chung Lee is one of my favorites. Oh, and yeah, I do enjoy that. that I, which, which, which one is my favorite outfit of Chung Lee that I like the most? Well, I do like the China dress a lot. The spandex, you know, Alpha Chung Lee, I do kind of like a little bit. But despite all that, I do like Chung Lee in that yellow uh, nightgown and wearing white panties and bras. So, I gotta give it up for that. So, those are my top five. Um, Gorgeous females. If you were happy that I did this, you know, in, you know, be happy. If you got an erection from all this, you know, come on, guys, don't do that. I mean, you can go blind by doing that. So this is Vertical Spy outro.